hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to tell you the aluminium extraction process in very brief before i start uh, i would like to say that if you find this video useful please subscribe to the channel and like the video okay now i am going to start in the aluminium extraction process there are basically two stages the first stage is the Bayer's process and the second is the Hell Herald process. In the Bayer's process, it is the refining of the bauxite ore to obtain the aluminium oxide that is Al2O3. And in the Hell Herald process, it is the smelting of aluminium oxide to release pure aluminium. That means in, at the end of this process, we will get the pure aluminium for which the process is done. Okay, now first we will start with the Bayer's process. I will uh, tell you the stages as a flow diagram so that we can learn it easily. The first process is that the bauxite ore is mechanically crushed in the grinding mill and caustic soda is added to it. Then the second process, a slurry is made that is slurry a water is a water suspension it it is made and pumped into a digester tank that functions like pressure cooker and in the third stage the slurry is treated at 110 to 270 degrees celsius the pressure pressure maintained is 340 kilopascal time taken is about half an hour to several hours and additional caustic soda is added to it. In the fourth process, the slurry that is sodium aluminate solution passes through series of flush tanks. Their pressure is decreased and heat is recovered for the refining process. In the fifth stage, the slurry is pumped into the settling tank. Impurities are settled in the bottom of the tank and residue are of uh, red color is called red mud and the aluminium is, is still dissolved in the caustic soda the caustic soda is added so that it uh, dissolves the aluminium in it in the sixth step the rest of the liquid is pumped through the cotton filter material and uh, the alumina is uh, recovered and the caustic soda is reused in the seventh step, the uh, the rest of the liquid is pumped through a six-story precipitation tank and the seed crystal of alumina hydrate are added through the top of the head of the tank. In the eighth stage, an anhydrous uh, alumina crystals are recovered in form of clean at 1100 degrees celsius now it ends the bears process we have got the alumina crystals and now it is time for the smelting process that is the hell herald process In the hell herald process first is the sm smelting process it is the smelting process it takes place in the steel vat called reduction it is the diagram which is used the electrodes used is carbon both the carbon rods are used on the top and uh, at the bottom there is a carbon electrode the in the middle there is molten aluminium and the top surface of the molten aluminium is about 3.8 centimeter uh, below the carbon rods there is a gap between the aluminium uh, molten aluminium and uh, the carbon rods these in a uh, in a steel plant there are reduction pots in line uh, about 50 to 200 and each spot line contains 6, 66,000 to 110,000 tons of aluminium and one plant contains about 2 to 3 pot lines. Now within the reduction pot alumina crystals are dissolved in molten cryolite 
at a temperature of 1960 uh, degree Celsius to form electrolyte solution and uh, that will conduct electricity between the electrodes uh, you can see here from the top uh, carbon rods to the bottom electrode the electricity will be condu uh, uh, conducted and the direct current will flow uh, voltage will be 6, six volt and uh, the current will be about 100,000 ampere the reaction will uh, the reaction will take place and oxygen will go to the carbon rods to form carbon dioxide and aluminium will settle at the uh, bottom which will be siphoned away now down the pot line crucible is placed to collect 4000 kg of molten aluminium that is 99.8 percent pure which is generally done in the steel plants and poured in the long horizontal mold now the future trend is that the carbon rod will be con uh, will be replaced by titanium diboride graphite which is uh, which will increase the efficiency thank you